Hemshech Hayim Beis. We're at the conclusion of Discourse 17, which is the end of Chapter 67. So in this last chapter, in the continuing discussion of the effect of transcendence and makifim on existence, explained Ak, Ak's impact, in a makif way. Remember, Pnimi affects existence, it gives life to existence. But the rule goes, to paraphrase Einstein, if you want to change the system, you have to be outside of the system. So Pnimi, internal energy, think of it like a kanela chachover. A friend who immerses himself in your issues is part of your life. So you're not going to have a fundamental shift to the system coming from within the system. You can get more life, you can get more awareness of your life. That's called mamala kalam. But if you want to have, so to speak, an infusion of something different, what he's explaining here, that comes from a makif that is, so to speak, above and beyond existence. So on one hand, it's a makif, meaning it doesn't have a direct relationship in the sense that it's it's internalized, it's sensed, it's logical, etc. But on the other hand, it when it does have an impact, its impact basically, you can say... Uh, shifts the system to reveal something deeper. That's the meaning of transcendence. Think about transcendence. What is transcendence? Your life is a boring routine of a bunch of details. And you look for something new, something fresh, a novelty. It can be music, it can be art, it can be romance, it can be something unhealthy. It jolts you out of your quotidian, out of your routine. Routine would be, I'm driving like this, like this, a little faster, a little slower, this suddenly takes you to another place, which is what we need. It's called the human need for transcendence, the soul's need for something beyond the structure. Here, in the anatomy of transcendence, the anatomy of, of all of existence, transcendence is what Chassidus calls makif, or Kabbalah calls makif. So tremendous. The word makif, sevev, that we usually think in terms of like, you know, very... It's really the root of transcendence in life. So you can say anything that jolts you out of the system, even have something un- inappropriate. That element of it is coming from some type of makav de kakayach. That's precisely why it's not a pnimi, because pnimi can only give you more of what you have, can reveal more of what you have. Not to say that isn't beautiful, but it won't give you the transcendent element. So what does ak do? Ak jolts us out of the system by giving us the kayach of Mesiris Nefesh. The power to have bittel, to the Baal Haratzin. Like he said, that pure faith. Push comes to shove. Where does it come from? In the system, a per- self-preservation is more important. How can a person give him Mesiris Nefesh? Because that's Ak's impact. So most of the time you don't see it. But then there are times that where that thing is there. So that's ax impact. Ax impact on existence is there's an overall bittal. And it's only seen in the fact that we can receive divine energy. The divine energy itself comes through a mala, through primi. But the receptivity to something that's not you. Like, you know, if you think about it like this. If God came to you and said, listen, I want to give you, I want to put an IV into you and flow my energy into you. You'd say, listen, I'm, I'm busy. I have other things to do. I'm not interested in your energy. Because he needs a certain bittle to accept someone's energy. But the chayis is by its natural existence that we receive energy, even though we're self-contained and egocentric, etc. That's ox impact. Then, he's, then he went on to explain, okay, so now we have to go now to the makifim protein. There's a whole case made for two chapters where he starts explaining to understand this deeper, or three chapters actually, not deeper, to now go. So then if that's the case, what's the role of Kesar of Atzilis? Say Malchus of Ak, Kesar of Atzilis, which means now we have another Makif to contend with. That's the Makif of Atzilis. What is its role? So to, before he gets there, he starts making the case why Ak alone is, so to speak, even more detached. So he said a few things. He said, number one, in Ak, which is the general desire, you don't have any of the, you don't, you know, the energy is all intense, equally intense in all the details. So it's like an all equalizer. You don't have any distinct elements. We're not talking now yet the bitl and the avoida of Atzilus. We're talking now in the functionality, function level. Then it goes the whole explanation to the two types of desire, koyach and rotzen, 
or Ratzon Hagoli, Ratzon Hanelam, what this what he called an actual passionate uh, inclination and desire that is drawn to something, and then the root of that originates in the Heskim, and just a determination that the thing is right. He says the first one, the latter one I just said is Ak, and the former one is Atzilus, is Kasser of Atzilus. So now, in the last chapter, you started speaking, okay, and then finally, one more thing, Ein's Ak has Ein Sof in it. And Kesar of Atzilis is more commensurate and relative to the existence of Atzilis. But it's still a Makif. But now the question is, okay, Pnimi of Atzilis, we know the need for that. We need the ten spheres. The Kesar of Ak, Ak is a Kesar, we know its impact. Its transcendent impact. What's this... We need now some an understanding. What is this intermediary transcendence? The transcendence of Kesar Vatsilis. So clearly, even before going, if you think about it, it means here it's going to be transcendent, but it's going to be more revealed and a little closer to Pnimi. So you'd call this Makif HaKariv, with Ag being Makif HaRachik. So now we're getting a transcendence that's a little closer to our parameters. So he explains what is that. So he says, that's the Bittl in the Shamas Yisrael. He calls Ava Musuteris and Reusa Deliba. And I had the question right away: How is it different than Ak? It's very clear. I looked a little okay. further. What is it, what is the no, that's not correct. No, 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 no. He says clearly in the Shams. The Elam is called Kaima Mishtachavilu for that. That's Ak first impact. But then the next Pedic he says in the Shams have Mrs. Nefesh. He says also in the Shams. Yeah, yeah. Samachal clear. The difference is the following. He doesn't use there the word Ava Musuteris, and he doesn't word, use Rusa Dalib. He uses Mesir Snefesh and Amun Apshuta. When you say love, hidden love, and Rusa Dalib, you're talking already a more uh, a more intense impact. Mesir Snefesh and Amun Apshuta is is a, is, more, is a more concealed state of transcendence than what he's talking about here. That's the, the key distinction. But the bottom line is that Atzilus impact on the uh, a Kesar of Atzilus impact is what he calls here. Let's speak in English, what this, simple English, what this means. It means that the world... Uh, oh, I forgot I forgot one thing I, I skipped. The impact of Tehiri Allah is also the Mesiris Haguf. The commitment of being able to Mesiris Nefesh of your body. A Kedah, a prayer, a fast day. Not prayer, Yom Kippur, a fast day, etc. Now, what the effect of Atzilis? Atzilis, Keser of Atzilis adds something. That we don't just have push comes to shove amuna pshuta simple amuna, we also have some revel, re, revealed elements. Like at the end of the chapter, he says, thoughts of tshuva fall into you spontaneously while you're walking down the street. That's more than amuna pshuta and mesiris nefesh. That is actual thoughts. Now, will they impact you or not? It's makif. But why are you getting these thoughts? Or like your person doesn't mention this, but a person starts crying for no apparent reason. Here, you're already having an Ashamadika impact. It's makif still because it's not coming from your natural flow. Like a natural flow is I, my eyes see, my ears hear, my mouth speaks. You know, the rational structure of existence. Here, it's something outside of the structure, but it's much more revealed than just plain, simple amuna. Amuna pshuta is more, or you could say, is almost like a passive state. Mesiris nefesh is a passive state, which ignites when you're challenged. Like he says in Tanya, that I. Even somebody that... Here we're already talking about something that is more revealed. It comes easier than the work of learning Torah or Aveda, but it's a more revealed state. And it's a form of makiv. That's why he calls it rotsen. It's the rotsen. It's a desire that overpowers and rules the faculties. That's why he gave the example. So it's a makiv, it's a rotsen, but it's a rotsen of Atsilas. Not a rotsen of the entire existence. So what Ak does for the whole world, it creates a general bittel. What it does for Neshamas, it adds the element of Mesir Nefesh and the element of, of um, as he said in chapter 61, Kles HaNefesh was another example. Here, which is a constant uh, connection that a person has in some revealed form. Here we're talking about, as I said, thoughts of tshuva, uh, the general, what he says about, and he goes to a whole an, 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 uh, length of discussion, the world, natural existence does not 
um, reveal the hidden dimensions. Like I said, it doesn't reveal the transcendence. It reveals existence. When creatures, animals, whatever they do, they're not revealing that element here. Here you're talking about Yisro, from the word Sarisa, Sar, or Sar Kale, is demonstrating, as I said, like a form of iskafia, a form of defying natural inclination for something and doing something opposite. That comes from the hidden love and the Usa Daliba. So there are overlapping words, like you'll say at the bottom of page, the Kuch of Dal, he does say the Bikinus Mesir Snefer's Rusa Daliba. But it's clearly a more revealed state that has more impact. We say Munab Shuta, for example, of a simple of a Jew is an equalizer, but where is it expressed? It's only expressed when there's a danger, when there's a challenge. It's like I said, it's like a pilot flame that's always burning. So the pilot flame that's always burning comes from Ak. But when you have a Rusa Daliba, where you have these thoughts of tshuva, like he says. I'm just using that because that's like a very strong example. Or other elements of uh, expression. And they actually impact the kaychas, like he said. He says the, oh, that, that, that impacts you that you should, he says the bitl or chen is that you should work hard at stopping yourself from alien thoughts and leaving your taivas behind. That type of self-control comes from Kesra Vatsilis. That's what he says. It could be analyzed further. My general explanation is one is more like a pilot frame and one actually has manifestation on even on a daily basis. And one of the you don't have, uh, or Mr. Zav, it's not a daily activity. It's there. That's like Ak. It's like the eagle, the eagle that is, it's exi- in, in the existence of, in this world, there's an Ak impact. Kesha Atzilis has more of a, a more tangible, also sporadic, and not consistent, and makivdik, it's rotsen oriented. It's not persuading your kaychis, do what God wants. It's not talking to your, it's not talking logic to you. It's telling you this is what you do. The fact that like I mentioned the story of Nissan or other stories of people being, working on themselves, that avoid it, where does it come from? That the ability that a person is usually self preservation, take care of myself, and they'll spend hours under a talus davening, or hours working on themselves. So that comes from a ruusa deliba within, that's the effect of Atsilis. So it's a closer makiv than the makiv of Ak. And this you don't have. You don't have a, an animal or anything of Daimim Tzameya Chai suddenly waking up with a ruusa deliba. There's no such thing. They do what God's planned them to do. They never waver from that. They don't go up and they don't go down. They do, however, have a general bittel. Like what you mentioned, for example, let's say there's Shira and so on. That bitl, he doesn't use that example. He, he, but they have a, a certain commitment, so to speak. But that's not changing the system. I would say that's more mamalaklam, actually. Sevev is the concealed bitl that they all have. I would say when Adam Arishan comes to all the creatures and say, let's bow, they'll bow. But they're not going to initiate it. They don't have the power to initiate. They'll, they'll go along. Because they have within their genes embedded message that there's an architect. But to go ahead and, and, and apply it and initiate it, they will not do. The world will not do that. That may be an example. example I'm thinking that may be the arc impact on the world, that they're receptive to it, but they're not going to initiate it. So like Rosh Hashanah, when Odom says, let's all, boy, ben shtachl, lufa nechra, lufa nechra. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right, so arc has that impact, which is concealed most of the time, but... He said, uh, yeah. Okay, I think it's pretty clear, pretty clear. Yeah, go ahead. Two questions. One, does the act of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the act ever reveal itself directly in this world, the other world of Misa, or does it all inherently have to go through the makif of the of, of, I, of, I would say inherently goes through the makif because it is fundamentally a makif. Ak is a makif. You know, does it, remember there is also a primi of ak, yoshe da ak. And it, not here, but like in Samach Vav, when he explains Pshayr Samach Alef, he does use, he says, the effect on the world is from the gulim of ak. The effect on the neshamas is from yoshe da ak. Yoshe is primi. But still, the yoshe of ak, relatively speaking, is a makif. So I would say, at least here, I, I, I don't recall anywhere in Chassidus that talks that ak should have a deeper, a direct line, a direct line beyond what we're speaking about here. 
And it's meant to be that way, because uh, if not, the whole Stauschluss would be up, upset. However, again, we're talking about when the Kav reaches the bottom, the Sheikh comes, then it's a whole other world. Then, then Ak will have a lot more from, you'll hear a lot more from Ak. Correct. Well, that's when Makif and Pnimi join, but that's only because we've worked hard at our Kalim already for. That's when Makif becomes a Pnimi. And the question, but we're not. Let's put it this way. Generally speaking, that is a Makif, that's a Pnimi. So the second question of this, Maseris Nefesh, Amun of Shuta of Ak and Maseris Nefesh of Ak, the Ak, the Maseris Nefesh that the Alter Rebbe speaks about a tiny, that a Jew will be Maseris Nefesh not to be separated. From that's, is that is the Ak impact? That's Ak, or so we're still talking about here Keser of Atzilus. Like, no, no, no. Keser of Atzilus is, is not Mesir's Nefesh. Uh, not Mesir's Nefesh. This is Keser of Atzilus is the awakenings of Chuva, things of Chuva, Reusa Deliba, Ava Mesir right. We're not talking about that power, Perikutes. Pe- so, the the Tamach Tzedek, in the source of this Mamorim, asked the question that in Tanya there, he says Perikutes, it comes from Chok Meshab Ben Hashem, Chok Meshab Ben Nefesh, and here he says it's Ak. So he explains how Ak and Chokhmah are connected. Again, but not directly from Ak. This, this that, that's the impact of Ak on existence. I mean, it's going, it, there's still a, a, a channel where it has to go through Kesar Vatsila still? Not necessarily. Not right? necessarily. That's, my quite, well, that's what my first question was. No, you, uh, so the, one second, let's start from scratch. The whole theme here yes. is that there is an, the Ak, and even Tahiri Allah has an impact on existence. Yes, but does it work through? It doesn't have to work through anything. It's a makif. It doesn't it just it just well, it's a it's like an echo. It's equal everywhere, right? The aqua, yeah. It it's it, it's an through. echo. I mean, does it go? You ask me a technical question. Yes, technical question. The wiring, the spiritual wiring. Maybe it goes through. So what? But it, but it's but it's still an ak impact. It's not an atzilus impact. Everything goes through. Everything goes through. Yeah, even the chida comes through the neshama, but it, but it's but it's like an express train. It doesn't get. It's not an atzilus impact. It's called an ak impact. Everything in existence is coming through the same kav, same channel. The question is: Is it an impact? Did it assume the properties of lower levels, or is it still retain the ak effect? That's what I call the class, the, the Adam Kadman effect. And then there's Adam Kadman syndrome. No, Tira Law is Messiris Haguf, the ability to give your body, not just your soul. Sacrifice the body, that's what he said. So this is Atsilus. Okay? Remember, we're talking again, after all the child, let's just get the picture here. There's a structure of existence that is Erpnimi, Eris and Kalim, defines, think of the human body. Human body functions a certain way. If you want a jolt of transcendence, that's called the Makif effect. He's talking here the different makif effects. That's the bottom line. So it's like almost like, generally speaking, the unconscious remains unconscious. The conscious functions with a certain pattern and routine. You want some type of jolt, some type of like, uh, like you know, like opening up for a second the, ch- the channel from the unconscious. That's called opening up the channels of makifim. There's the ak. There's opening up to hiri Allah, There's the opening up of ak. There's the opening of keshat I wouldn't even call it opening. I would call it more like an echo effect. That it has to have an impact. Bottom line is, it must have an impact on existence. A person's subconscious is inherently. Let me ask you, what, what, without the word, what's bothering you? What's not understood? No, I'm following. Oh, no, no, I'm just I'm I'm saying you just want to. understand the, 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 the detailed system. Okay. And uh, the only question is the Maki, Freud. Uh, but you understand the difference between Maki and Primi, yeah. right? Okay. I just, I just wanted to know if there was a thing that Maki, there was a a system with Abish built in that you can get a, a, a access a, a, the Maki Bavak without going through Atsilas. I just want to know if there's two different lines. Well, even if you go through Atsilas, you're still accessing. You have to access First of all, this is, not, this is not accessing it. This is its impact on us without accessing. A Munapshut is without work. You just have it. Okay, receiving it then. Receiving it. Whether you can you're asking it. if you can initiate and generate more Ak than we get on our own? Is that what you're asking? Well, I was, but no. The next question, well, I was just understanding like that. The, huh? the, like I was just interested in the delivery system, but I will hear that everything goes through the same f- the channels. The question is whether it's re- assuming the properties of those channels or not. Do you understand what I just said? Yes. The answer is as to how I handle the neshamas. I mean, the more active. You, you say we just learned the last chapter. All neshamas come from atzilus, right. but some are not called neshamas of atzilus. Why? Because they assume the levushim and the properties of bria, yitzira, si, and so on. 
You follow what I'm yes, saying? Everything comes through the levels. Uh, you, there's no way to get, but but, but that relevant here. Slapshus and Derek is slapshus. So I was just wondering if there was this, this accessing this mysterious nefesh was going through the regular channels, and you explained it is. So my question, the next question would be here, um, when, and then you said, you just made a statement that the subconscious, if you want this jolt, this this jolt of Java, I mean, the, <laughs> the jolt of, uh, of Maki, um, and you said then, it said, you said a subconscious, um, I'm, it's what, what Freud... Like, I would call it unconscious. What Freud, what Freud is trying to access or understand the subconscious of a human being is, is are you saying that would, are you saying that in the, I'm talking again trying to bring this eye to this, this eye system down to our daily life is 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 that is he trying to understand Makiti is psychoanalysis well first of all let me just let me just say the thing from my point of view Freud is child's play compared to this so to even bring Freud into the picture he's like a kid compared to this the sophistication of this unconscious Freud is was really more of a self promoter, and I wouldn't call him some. You know, I mean, I know the world would see the sacrilegious, but I wouldn't even call him an expert. You know, I'd call him a, as a kid who was smart, smart Jew, who figured out how to certain ideas, and he packaged it well and sold himself well. I know, you know, maybe people think if they think Freud is God, he visited him. Yeah, um, I didn't say he wasn't a competent uh, psychologist. So what? We're talking about, however, the knowledge of unconscious. He knew it from him and his mother, basically. What did he know? From his observations and a lot of his experiments were, were weird and bizarre and stuff like that. But he was a good promoter, fine. The point of the matter is, whatever people value in Freud, we talk about unconscious. Ego, yeah, if you go to H. Chaim and you learn this, you see, unconscious is the whole world. Was he touching elements of it? Yes. But he got to the id. For him, the deepest part was the id, not the id. Meaning the, the sexual... Selfish, me, 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 me. That's his unconscious. And everything after that is ego and superego, which is Freud's words, of the monitoring and harnessing and the controlling of the id. So, so, so altogether he doesn't even go to a divine element, forget about. But even forget about a divine element. The concepts of, of uh, like, you know, he would identify self-control and uh, miss and davening, as I mentioned yesterday for hours, as neurosis or psychosis. That's what he would call it. We would call it the revelation of the deepest levels of transcendence, just if you want to start contrast between Freud and and uh, I am Bayes. Do you see the difference? It's not a small little difference. He would call it illness. And we would call it Ak or Atsilis. So his level of unconscious is basically based on that we're all selfish sexual creatures. What's unconscious is even more sexual and even more the purest form of Taiva. That's where he got to. He got to the Sherish HaTaivus, that's what I would say. Okay? He got to the unconscious root of Taivus. That's exactly what I would say. Unconscious root beyond that, he couldn't go. He had no, he had no way to go there. I mean, so right? He, he uses, you use yourself as a reference. If you start analyzing yourself, tell me, where are you going to get to exactly? But, You're going to get to a, a analysis of what, what makes you such a selfish narcissist. But you see, unconscious root of Taivus, you can talk about table here also. It's not so simple. I didn't say it's not a deep thing, but I'm saying it's a different map. This goes, here we're talking about from the top down. Atzmus, Lifni Atzimtzum, Ak, Tiri La, Tiri Tata, Atzilis. Well, what's your point? No, is it Tell you, yeah, Mapokin, compared to Ak and Tiri La, Tiri is a little, is a low level, yes. And I'm just trying to point out here is that, that it's, it's hard to, the only way I can equate them is that, yes, we're going beneath the surface. That's all, that's, where, that's as much as you can really say. Beneath the surface, we're going to the root of things. But so do physicists in physics. So there's no question that in science today you'll find parallels to these ideas. But here you have a real map that's coming from the top, and this is revealed to us from the Creator. No one could figure this out on their own. Yeah? I mean, once you see, once you see, you know, stand. remember, I told you, Messiris Nefesh or Messiris Aguf of a Jew by an average academic today would call it either psychosis or delusion. That's what they call religious commitment. I know this. I was once asked a question that the American Psychiatric Association ended up in a, in a stalemate that year, whether religion is a form of, actual form of psychosis or is it just delusion. So someone asked me, what's my opinion on that? So I said, I would ask them, do they beat their wife with a chain or with a bat? They say, what do you mean? How do you know I beat my wife? 
I said, what, you're not giving me a third option. How do you know religion? Maybe religion is a healthy form of divine expression. They, that option didn't exist. By then, for sure, it's either delusion, it's either just a, just a delusion, or it's actual uh, medical condition. That's their, that's their given. I understand it. Now, let's put it this way. When you go with your own tools, and I was always bothered, the Friedrich Rebbe and other Maimonim say, that when someone learns Chacham Schotzenius, philosophy or science, you become more yesh. You learn chassidus, you learn primus atay, you become more bittel, more ayin. So I always said to myself, you know, it's a pretty, like, I don't care, racist, but a pretty uh, strong statement. But then I realized the reason. It's not become more yesh, they become more arrogant. They're learning about a yesh. The whole science is about the nature of the yesh. They're not interested in what was before the yesh. Like scientists will tell you, my, my observations, empirical, are based on what I see. So what they're learning is only making what you see more. When you learn science, you learn more about how existence is, is a very complex and powerful place. You don't learn about, yes, if you step back and say, oh, there's awesomeness of the world, someone must have put it. But that's already a conclusion, your human conclusion, not a scientific conclusion. Science by nature, like I said with Einstein, a system cannot understand itself, it cannot change from within. It can, only, it can only change a system from without. That's the whole point of it. So, so absolutely. A, a, now, it doesn't mean a scientist is necessarily yes. You can have a scientist that's very bottle. But the nature of studying, no. studying the, let's call it the science of the world, makes the world more, va- more powerful, not less powerful. You study chassidus, you start realizing the world was put here. I'm just, you talk about contrast. But if you really want to break it down, I have no problem mapping out with someone who knows a Freudian way of thinking, some of the levels of unconscious you can compare. But there, as I said, your fundamental flaws. He believes that, that when you get to the core, you'll find pure selfishness. That's a key key difference. Right. Here, you'll find pure holiness, pure Gdusha. And you made a, mistake, a statement right now that this system, um, this knowledge that we're revealing here, is, there's no way we can get to it. It's brought down... Well, we, I mean, a human being. I mean, okay, uh, no, the question is this. That Rizal... The Rizal, the, Rizal, the Alta Rebbe, the Tzamaqzedek, the Rebbe Rishab, are they accessing, like you said before, Ayin Beis is a way for us, a roadmap for working up to the divine that can, is, is a, God gives us a way of getting there through human effort? Or is this Ruach HaKodesh, revelation from the above? Why, 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 why can't you say both? I, I don't know. I, 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 no, let's go to Mount Sinai. Let's go to Sinai. Sinai was, was above? or? Moshe never reach a but God gave him a blueprint that, 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 hold on but you forgot the second half God gave him a blueprint that allows you to reach step by step the Torah is not just a command from heaven it was given from heaven but it gave us the blueprint of how you retrace the steps it gave us a toolbox so I said hold on hold on same thing as Kabbalah and Chassidus it's the continuation of Sinai it's a revelation in every generation through the Chachamim and Nevi'im of that generation Gala Seide and Leviev, they are channels of Moshe Rabbeinu in each generation that combine revelation, but they combine, but revelation comes with a system and a toolbox that allows us, you and I, simple people like us, to climb the steps. And it's an organized system. And the Alter Rebbe came with Mechadish Chassidus Chabad, he took all the Kabbalah and everything that he knew and turned it into a system based on what it was revealed to him. But it's a system that was workable. Judaism does not focus. Revelation is only the root of it. But it's, it all comes down to a system. What you do in the morning, what you do in the evening. There's no just, oh, I'm waiting for God's message. That's not the way it works. So God's me- the same God that created existence with a structure also gave a operator's manual that has a structure. So the same structure of existence has to have a structured way of how we get to fulfill the purpose of existence. And that's a step-by-step process. Not, what I'm trying to say is that there's an Indian of Nevoa, which is no matter what Eliyahu Ma'anavi could have done on his own through learning from the sages, his Nevoa, his prophecy was a gift. But what's what's called, why is it a contradiction to logic? The same God that created Nevoa created logic. Hold on, hold on, one second. Logic, logic is, a, is a divine creation just like revelation is. You understand? Logic is divine revelation. Yes. Okay. No, logic is divine revelation. It's God's tool. Yes. Logic was not created by human logic beings. Has a limitation. No, 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 no. You, God concealed his presence so we can convince ourselves we're self-made. And logic is ours. Logic is God's way. God, logic is God's spheres. How he created this, the world. That's the pure nature of logic. 
It's yeah. just like Alakus comes Bligvul, Alakus comes Gvul. It's all Alakus. Then there's a symptom that we can delude ourselves into thinking, oh, I'm a smart guy, I come to my own conclusions, I'm self made, etc. That's our delusion. But logic is, is equally revelation, just like if God split the seed now. Why is 2 plus 2, 4 less godly than, uh, than, uh, than a miracle? It's the same thing. Only to us, one becomes, we call it nature. We call it, but that's all. Habit. Right. But anyway, what, what, what's... Oh, no, I'm just trying to get, you made a statement. I just want to try to get the answer to that. Is that this, this knowledge... I, I'm, I'm, Clara, I told you. Is Torah Chachma or Nevoah? That's what I mean. The answer is absolutely no. You, what you just said is a question. I didn't use my words. All everyone says Torah is chachma and the words the same thing. You got you're making a mistake. You 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 having a, you have a your approach is a juvenile approach. You think that why can't chachma be nevuah? Chachma be nevuah. Yeah, why not? Two different But not from God's perspective. It's too good. It's, it's God. God. Okay, so you're not hearing what I'm saying. No, no, nothing to do with it. No. You're, what you're talking is like a, is, is talking like you're talking as a yesh talks. From God, God revealed energy. One is called chachma, one is called nevuah. What difference? Just because you think you understand chachma, that's why it's, it's less godly. It's not everybody. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. Why? You, I mean, I, I, I'm just posing a question. Think about it. You know, we don't have to go through it now. It's not really relevant here. I, I want to go on. Okay. I just asked you a question. Why chachma is God's revelation? Nevuah is God's revelation. Why do you consider chachma less nevuah than nevuah? Because you understand it, because you think you're a, you, you're a big seichel person. The not. mere fact that it's chachma, I would actually say chachma is more godly than nevuah. You know why? Because the mere fact that we can think that we can understand it shows what kind of power it is. Why is one? I understand that God's energy is God's energy. Remember, you're assuming logic is a given. There's no given. God created chachma yeshmai, just like He gave nevuah yeshmai. Both are from God. And if you want to talk about focusing, that's coming from God. Chachma also comes from God. If you... No, there's no mamata. When it comes from God, everything is mamayla. Chachma comes from God. There's no mamata. A God exists. Atzmas exists. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the revelation at Sinai came from God. Chachma came from God. What's wrong with that? Everything comes from God. There's distinctions. Uh, for my point, no, no. I, I'm making a whole book about distinctions uh, about this. Let uh, me ask you a question. Oh, no, no. Don't bring, don't bring. There certainly is a distinction. Don't, don't, don't bring me proofs from books. Tell me the logical distinction. If both come from God, why is one called Chachma? Why is one called Nevoah? Tell me. Because they're different. They're from different. God is revealing energy. Boy comes from God too, and he's, but he's different than Jew. Is this what? This is you giving me Kabbalah? You giving me you giving me Kabbalah cell words? What do you mean? No, I'm just saying that. Just you, you just gave me Kabbalah. So. I just said to you, God is now revealing himself. I, I, one you call Chachma, one you call Nevoah. Is there a difference? There's no difference from my point of view. They're both a divine revelation. The difference is you delude yourself, there's a difference. There's no difference. In that respect. There's no difference. No, in that respect. Of being from God or not from God. In that respect. Everything's from God. Okay, so, okay. so that's, that's what that By the way, the same question you can ask about Jews and non-Jews, the same thing, question, question between trees and tables and Beis Amigdash. It's the same question. Is one more Atmos than another? Uh, think about it, okay. and then we'll talk about it. It's all right. Okay, I just said, when you're when you talking about unconscious or 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 or, 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 or are you talking about only positive things, or there's also room for some... some Negative things in the unconscious. That doesn't seem like it's from Akbar or from Akbar. Of, of course. I mean, what do you mean? What do you so, say? It's only we, the unconscious is represented. As soon as God created a symptom, because there's a symptom, there's a concealment. And once there's a concealment, there's the possibility for people to choose uh, another path. And there are the concealments create the possibility for clippers and for all the tyrants of this but world. Then through, but then it goes through the unconscious too. There's, yeah, but that's a very unconscious is a very broad word. I was talking about the big picture, the unconscious that's connected to Tivus. You don't need iron base for that. We all know that. We all know we have Tivus and Machshav We're talking thing. about here. At an ax level, there is no such thing okay, as fine. nothing. Everything is gedusha fine. there. Once there's conceal, I just told you when you conceal energy, there's always room for other options, and people make choices that are negative choices. You ask me what's the root of Clippers, you're asking me? No, I'm asking to that whole stream of unconsciousness. Before we learn positive and we learn 
We're not. I, I didn't really go into encyclopedia on unconscious. I was talking about the unconscious. No, no, no. He's talking about here. No, no. That. I, I look. I told you, Freud's unconscious and Cassidy's unconscious are completely two different worlds. I'm trying to resolve that. Absolutely, two different worlds. For the, for the unconscious of recognizing that your taiva comes from repressed uh, feelings inside of you is not what we're discussing here. Here we're discussing uh, the makifim that God uses to create existence that bring transcendence into our lives. That's discussion here. Okay, so we, we, the way we define it is, we, we, is only positive. Right? So now, continuing and concluding the Discourse 17, page 126. In the chapter end of chapter Samach Zayin. So he explained, they said the different impact of Kesar Vatsilis. The end of the chapter was basically Rusa Deliba and uh, the desire of the heart for divine revelation and its impact on us. The ability for the desire person imposing upon themselves to serve God, to go against their natural inclinations. And then he says, the Huri Tshuva, the thoughts of, spontaneous thoughts of Tshuva that fall into us. And also the final thing was, Akol Be'i Shkin Tashariye, which is when you're in the presence of ten people, there's a certain Shariye, Shkin Tashariye, it's a makif. That's a makif akara from Atsilis. That impacts us, that you can either, it inspires you to, the, to the, that, uh, inspire, that uh, inspires you to pray more, Primis Dika way, or you see someone else pray, that affects you. These are all impacts of Atsilis, Kesar of Atsilis, on our beings. So you have Makiv Dika affects all the places from Kesar to which is distinguished from the effect of Kesar, the general Kesar, which is Ak. Okay. And according to the above, we'll understand, what it says, the word Nitzavim, now the word Nitzavim to stand strong, it's not just standing, when you say Nitzav, it's not just Amida, it's, it's, it's standing with strength, with this, it's a, um, taking a strong, uh, a strong, Stand. yeah, strong position. or a firm, a firm uh, state. V'hubchin is makiv the neshama. This takeif, the stand of such strength, comes from the makiv of the neshama. Shazam b'chin is takeif. Because that is a form of intensity. So again, talking about the system, the system on its own, in, internal faculties, are not that firm. They change all the time. They're fluid. If you're talking about someone taking a strong stand and saying it's going to be like this and not any other way, a certain obstinance, that's coming from the makif of Nishama. As opposed to the faculties, the desire, that's a super rational desire, which is the makif of the neshama, does not have changes. That's takif. I'm standing strong. I'm not walking, I'm not moving, and so on. This is below. Like, like for example, a kumoy same as it is above, it says, Kiloi Adam Hu that God is not a man that you can console. In other words, this God doesn't go through changes. That here he feels bad and you console him and so on. It's brought also in the Bosalagani Maimer, the whole chapter in this. In Tzir Adam, the structure of a human being, you could have Nechumim, consolations, comforting, because there are changes. So a person is in this state, and then you're Nechumim, here we just came from Shivad and to the Paranusa, and now we have the Shiva the Nechemta. We're being consoled for that which was lost to us. So that's all defined by by, by changes of uh, changes. You're talking about Loy Adam, not at Seer Adam, something that's beyond the human structure. Is Loy is, Yenachim. Uh, I don't know. Right now, this is probably my Kesher Vatsilis, if you really ask me, but I don't know. We'll see where he goes. Compared to Atzilis, it's all makif. It depends where you're talking. It's all relative. He's, he, he's not. Lo yodam lo yenachem. 
or kamoi came benefesh, just like it is above, the same thing is in the soul of the person, the pechin is harot, the desire that's higher than the super rational desire to be connected to God, like you said earlier, who betake for blishuni. It's intense without change, without shift, with unwavering. Gam kishe, gam she is galus who betake if the loy kamoi midish also, when Ramshe is Galus, and also the revelation of it is intense, it's not like emotions, Shapitam Vadas, that are rational emotions, Shem Bola, that are limited, and in a state of diminishment, weakness, weaker. Mashenken Harotzen, by contrast, desire, Shalomal Vatam Vadas, super rational desire, who partake of his Galus, or Blihak Bola. So intense. It's an int- it's, it's, its revelation is in full intensity and without limitation. Like we spoke earlier about Rotson. When a person has a desire to put his hand in, in, in fire or in cold water, even though naturally that's not what you would do, desire has that ability to impose itself. So it's a, it's a type of intensity. And that's the meaning of Atem Nitzavim. You stand here today... That's the revelation of the essence of the soul, which means we're not talking about etzem etzem, we're talking about what he said before, chaya, the level of the makif, akarav, keser v'atzilus, hainu b'chinus harotzen shu b'tekev. That's the, the revealing of that desire. When they're standing strong, when you say, today you stand altogether strong, you're talking about the revelation of that desire, that they're standing together in that way. And there's an effort going into this. Take that away, if they were not doing that, and they, they would not be standing intensely and firmly. Gam Nitzav Muloshan Nitziv. Nitzav is also from the word Nitziv. Nitziv, Shuloshan Sar. Like we said before about Yisrael, Sar. From the word ruler. Nitziv Melech. It means like the rule of the king, Nitziv. Nitzivim. Sar, like a ruler. Like it says in the Pasuk, in those days, there was no king in Eden, only in Etziv Melech. Etziv Melech usually means the representative of the king. But it means he has the authority of the king. So he's an Etziv Melech, so he's a, a ruler like a king. Like a uh, second in command, or a representative of the king. Roman governors at least uh, control. We have here an Etzivim, right? Etzigim. Etzigim. Or Etzigim. Etzigim. Dehine nez barali el debchim sarach, and shalom al metam v'daz en zeo madregis Yisrael. Because now we learned earlier, we discussed earlier that the desire, the super rational desire, that's the level of Yisrael. Yisrael, Lashon Sar, Shemoshon Vashel, Tal Kol Akechus. Yisrael comes from the word Sar, Sarisa and Sar Kale. That's the language, the term from the term ruler that controls and rules on all the faculties, like Rotson does. V'zeu Gamkin Inya Netzavim, Hainu Bechinus Netziv Vesar, Shazel Madregus Yisrael. This is also the level of Netzavim, which is the state of Netziv. This representative, this ruler, Visar, ruler, Shazel Madregis Yisrael. That's the level of Yisrael. So Yisrael and Nitzavim is the same level. Now what it says, you, uh, you stand today, Rosh Hashanah, which goes on Rosh Hashanah, Yem, wherever it says Yem is Rosh Hashanah, Dine Rosh Hashanah, Oz Yisgalos Atzmas Hashanah. Because Rosh Hashanah is that's when you have the revelation of this intensity, the essence of the soul. And the primary of Rosh Hashanah is not with the revealed faculties, but it's with this essential faculty of the desire that stands strong. All year round, the primary work is with the, inter- the imminent internal faculty. The revealed faculty. That's the work with your mind and your heart, with comprehending, with his bonus and meditating, in the divine. Will be saved this and the awakening of Ava Vira Shalpitam Vadas. Stimulation and awakening, arousing of love and war with that's rational. That's according to the mind. Ava but Rosh Hashanah, but the Rosh Hashanah, Ikrave the primary work of Bizgalasatsma Sunasham is the reveal revelation of the essence of the soul. That's the meaning that's of my yam, you stand today before God, before your God, La Maila Mabhinis Aprimi. That's Lifnei Hashem Alekeichem. You stand with that Yisrael level of that Ratzon on Rosh Hashanah higher than the level of the internal and the imminent. So Baruch Hu, 
which means that you're awakening and 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 transmitting and uh, and drawing down through this the revelation of the essence of the infinite light. The commandment avol nitvisi you berusted liba canal, like we said before. Less man machshavet, less machshavet fisa beklal. No thought can grasp him at all, but he's grasped through rusa deliba. Through rusa deliba, our rotsin lemail metam vedas reveals God. That's lemail metam vedas. So it's all commensurate. You work with your revealed faculties. You reveal the revealed in the structure of existence. You the, you want you reveal the beyond your structure, then you reveal and draw down that that which is beyond structure from above. The Oidzois additionally additional and additionally Mashakosat and Sam Mayim what it says you stand today, the Tag Munkalis Asun Kayomim Yemedin. Atun Kayom Yemedin. You are uh Kayomim sustained on the day on the day of judgment, on the day of judgment. Like it says, and there came a day. And the sons of God came, arrived. That's going on the day of Rosh Hashanah. The Bnei Elikim, Boyin and Mekatrik in Chaz Rishon. Who are the Bnei Elikim? The angels that come and uh, Mekatrik. And uh, God forbid, how do you say, to find, uh, translate Mekatrik, Kitrug? They prosecute, but they, they prosecute, but words, Mekatrik is more than, it's not prosecute. Uh, they're uh, they're accused, accusation. They're, they're accusing. They're instigating. That's maybe even uh, inciting and instigating. Shazel is Yatsub al Hashem, Hainul Neged Shem Avaya. The Yatsub al Hashem, meaning they're standing up, they're like, they're confronting God. Right. Here he's talking about the one from this, this one referring here is talking about that. Not necessarily. No. No. Not necessarily. Here he's talking about Rosh Hashanah. It could be uh, the, the, you did something wrong. And, uh, I understand, but who's doing it? The uh, accusing at that point? The Abishter? I don't know. My Malachim are basically messengers of God. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I mean, of course, like say, a Kitrug could be. You know, when the energy is above, it's not always called malachim. I call it energy, energies, the energies. Remember, malachim have no free will. They're just, they're just uh, responding. And the energies don't either, correct? Correct. So there's different names for it. The malach is simply energy, divine energy. A malach is not a human being. It's just a certain level of a, how, a, a little, certain form of, it's a shliach, a shliach of Hashem. Is a, a malach is a... Messenger. Kabbalah Chassidus talk different between spheres, malachim, neshamas, cholas. There's different names for the different types of how man, energy manifests. There's no free will there. There's a system. There's what's called a cosmic divine um, immune system. So when something goes wrong or something is, there's going to be a market correction. That's what a kitchen really is. Cosmic immune system. That's exactly what I said. So, is there such thing as a cosmic prescription? Yes, that's that's called that's called a Rebbe's suggestion. It's made up of the, uh, the It's made up of tell you everything, all the levels above. When they say when we do something, there's cause and effect. That's the immune system. Why doesn't the Shama come back in a Gilgal? Because it didn't finish his job. So the cosmic immune system gets into motion, which God put into place, so the soul will return. You'll be given another opportunity in your life. It's, a, it's essentially a machine that's working, just like what happens when a forest burns down. It has a certain immunity. It regenerates. Everything in this world is, has God's wisdom in it that gives it the ability to regrow and compensate and function and so on. A person, God forbid, has a stroke. Why is sometimes... The nerves, the the, neuro, the neurons, you know, they create new paths. It's all the miracles of existence. Generally, though, if you ask the doctor, those that they to refer to the term immune is a protective system that is to protect the, the structure and the health of that system. Is that not correct? Unless the immune system becomes 
Right. Okay. So let's continue here. So they confront God. Means they stand. It's also a form of nitziv, but it's the opposite. And that's what we say, that even though these, these children of God, which means the messengers of God are coming, and they are instigating, and they're accusing, and they're prosecuting, whatever the word we use, God forbid, before he said, now he said, nevertheless, you stand strong today, you stand and you are sustained, and you zeche, you merit in this judgment. In other words, our nitzavim, our intensity, and this is Rosh Hashanah, that's what the Targum Unkelis adds, counters their challenge. You see, we could not counter it if we were just giving our kreches premium and gluim, because they're coming now with a new they challenge. Would, they would bend. Well, because the kreches premium were flexible, they would bend, that's why. That's one reason. Also, no, no, but... Other Yadanish that could give you a different way to say it also. Uh, it means because it's not comparable. When they come with a, a certain intensity of a complaint, you have to counter it with also an intensity. Yeah, he did say before the Shinuyim in the Midas and stuff like that. But bottom line is what counters their their strong stand is the strong stand of the Northern Pashat that's in the souls. That's how they stand and they are preserved, they sustained. They perp- they are uh, what do I want to use? Pre- endure, endure. V'adarab and nimshach b'am teis b'seidus, and because an adarab on the contrary through this standing this strength, nimshach b'am is transmitted into them abundant t- additional energies. V'zewin t'kiyeh shefer d'rosh hashanah. This is the blowing of shefer d'rosh hashanah. Kiyudua din yone who his galus etzam anesham. As it's known, the Indian of blowing Shafir is the revelation of the essence of the soul. That's the sound of the shofar is reflective of the sound, the call, the cry, in a simple sound. From the depths of the heart. That's the And through this they endure and stand strong. With an additional abundant energy, and revelations, I'll call Hashana. That that last for the entire year. However, now uh, what it says nitzavim, not that you initiate it's lashon nifal, meaning it is a a an effect. Causative or I don't know if the huh? And he said like he said in the beginning, that cause. Nifal is the result. It says, like he said in the beginning, he said, it says, why does it say? Payel is positive, right? Right. Well, no. with a man, positive. There's Payel, Nifal, Pula. Here he says, meaning it's affected from above. It's a result of. It's the state of being, that's what you mean by passive, the state of being is a result of someone else's action. That's what it literally means. How would you say the word if it was not uh, nifal? Atem aimdim. How would you say it in Hebrew? What would you say instead of nitzavim? Uh, what word would you use? No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. This is just, just a state There's no other word that could be used. You call somebody to stand. You say with a nice Well, you have the word like, let's say, atem oimrim or anemar. Nemar is a nifl and oimer is a poil. Okay, here you don't really have because standing by nature is a. Well, oimdim, you could be oimdim or a mo. Uh, like if, in other words, you say misyatsev, yeah, not the misyatsevim, right? That you are basically, you are initiating, you are uh, mobilizing yourself. That's the state of being. See, see, that would be that God would say to Moshe by Yakel Moshe. And you should uh, you should all show up. Yeah, yeah. That's a but nitzavim means 
already you were already standing. Yes, after the tzavim, fine. So notion high nusha is galus atzmus and neshama he high nusha. So it goes like this: notion of high nu. What that means? She is galus atzmus and neshama he neshama son niflim bezem l'mayla. That this revelation of the essence of the soul, he, he, these souls are affected like this from above. Ukmeshin is barley elam avur b'makam mekem is like we learned, discussed earlier, and explained in other places, in many places, in various places. These galus atzmus and neshama that the revelation of the essence of the soul. The revelation of the essence of the soul is in Adam This is not in the power of a person to do initiate on his own. It's what you're given from above. That's what he said in the last chapter. Remember, he said Nisim Shnusatabi Shem Nisim Asan Neshama. Which is another example of Makif, as opposed to Primi. Primi also comes from God, but it becomes now yours. You own it. The makif remains a makif because it's been given from above. And this is the preparation of the month of El in the form of Tshuva Tata. I'm sorry, you're right. However, however, in order for the Rosh to be the revelation of this Atzman Shamed, which is which is coming from above. That's through the work all year round in the, in the, in the imminent and revealed faculties. And this is the preparation of the month of El, like he said in the previous Maimer, the end of the Maimer. That, that, that is the lower Tshuva, where you're cleaning up your act. And specifically in the days of Slichus, as you get closer to Rosh Hashanah, in order for you to be of those of the people that are accountable, the accountants, the protein yonim shaloi, you make given an accounting of the details of your life, of your involvements and endeavors, or the protein avoided the and the details of your service all year round. Vim ha yishaloi kedeboi, and if it wasn't appropriate, you smarim you'll be you'll be you'll be embittered in your heart, in your soul. Alze smarim benafshei alze, you'll feel sad or bitter, embittered by it. Over it, and you'll also be in a state of receiving, a, a, a resolving to do much better in the future. And through this work, we prepared for the revelation of the essence of the soul, which is given to us from above. And this is what we count afterwards. He enumerates the different levels. Of the person, the, the, of the Jewish people, you have the, the heads of the tribes. Because in order for there to be the standing upright today, that comes through the work all year round in the revealed faculties, which is broken down in details based on the different levels of the souls. So Atim Nitzavim is not just in a vacuum. You stand today, and your rotsin, your, your higher rotsin is revealed to you. It's a result of your work, and therefore he enumerates the work, which is the different levels of Jews. There's Rosheikh and Shvetechem. They're not equalized. The Rats and this Rats and equalizes them to some extent. Another way you can explain it, an additional way. So here is that you need those faculties, all the differences, in order to reach the Makif. And now he says the other way around, the Makif. As he said before, reveals the, the, when, you, when the etzman hashem is revealed, the essence of the soul through that, like the rotsin, it compels the revelation of the faculties. Like b'malkim shali bechafetz, when a person learns, he desires the desire. The rotsin compels the faculties to open up. So the, the so it goes both ways here. The giluim affect the, the the imminence affects the transcendence, and the transcendence affects the imminence. And what if there's no uh, giluim at all? The Jew in Russia or something that doesn't even know he's Jewish, he did not do any avoda whatsoever. Yeah. Will he still have access revealed to him? Maybe even though there's no access to the lady, but the whole room could believe him. So it says only Yom Kippur, it's Shuma Shalyem Chaper, and Yom Kippur we say the day itself forgives. Only Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah not. You'd say, you have to say like following. First of all, no, 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 no. First of all, a few things have to be uh, qualified. It's a very important rule. There's no such thing as a Jew that's on his own. 
everybody's got generations that they stand on their shoulders. So a person may be, like you said, doesn't have know anything, but his parents and his grandparents and great grandparents, all the way to have Ram Yitzhak Yankif are part of his genes. So, uh, so, so even if he does nothing, uh, they don't. Ninety generations just to Mount Torah. So it's, it's exactly you want to know it's exactly 126 generations. That's it. Exactly 126. Our generation is 126. 100, maybe 127, maybe. It's not mine. It says that's what it says. Generations. Gemara says 70 years. Whatever it is, but the point is, there's 90 gener- around 92 generations to Mount Torah. Yeah, and Mount Torah is 26 generations from Brisail. So what's 92 and 26? Approximately. Give or take, it depends, you know. 118. 118. That so doesn't sound like much. Well, if you go to Freud's uh, colleagues, they'll give you there's a lot more generations. 118. I don't know if it's exact. The 26 is exact, the 92 may be off here and there. So it means figuratively you're rewarded for a thousand generations. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, going back is so number one is there's no such a human being in a vacuum. So mainly, even if a Jew is sitting and knows nothing in Russia or wherever it may be, a tinik shenishba that has not yet been reached by UJA or Chabad, right? Uh, so he's no Giluyim, um, has all that in his genes. As such, therefore, that can create an awakening. That's number one. So number two. Uh, God has mercy. God, God can have compassion. He could still, generally speaking, like you know, you say, okay, the person didn't have Aveda. Generally speaking, you don't have the Kali to have this revelation that he's describing. But it doesn't mean there aren't exceptions. There are times where God can extend a certain special grace. And it's usually because of Schusavis or other things that God will say, you know, it's my child and I will give him more chance. <coughs> And in general, when you talk Tanegu Shanishbu, you're talking about almost off the radar. Generally speaking, there's a structure. Tanegu Shanishbu is, is not on the map. He's not responsible because it was a, it's, a, it's a new phenomenon that's only several hundred years old, really. I mean, it, once upon a time, it was a rare occasion. Somebody was kidnapped as a child. That's literally taken to captive and lived. But today, all people, all, most Jews are considered that. Some even argue all of us are. Or, because or you know the, went to Rome as slaves. What are you talking right. about? You, know, you had, but it was not. It was not. It was not the the the, 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 the It was an exception. Today, it's not an exception. You mean they went slaves. They were part. There was other slaves. There also other Jews. It was. It, it, it's it's different. You're not telling saying that a lot of number of slaves didn't get assimilated in Persia and then yeah, sure they are. And, and assimilated. Rome. That's it. The next generation would come going, but that's the case. But we're talking. Or about they were Jews. 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 They had Jewish there was no real generation. There's no generation like ours. We have 80% of so you're Jews. That this so this okay, bottom line is that now, that, like for example, Yom Kippur, yeah. he, to start analyzing why a Jew, let's say, doesn't do anything, suddenly is drawn to Yom Kippur. I've just had here somebody in my house yesterday. He's anti Jewish in every possible way. Interest, yeah, yeah, from Argentina. I did, I did. And interesting is the thing, the only thing that touched her was my book, Toward a Meaningful Life, when she was 15 years old. But she didn't want to hear more about it. So she put it aside, and that was that. Then she went to Israel. And it was Yom Kippur, and she was anti-religious. She specifically she went to church on Yom Kippur intentionally, and she told me that she one Yom Kippur she just had a feeling, and I've heard this from others. So is this the effect of Ak? Is it effect of Atzilus? Is it effect of their generations in her blood? I can't tell you. It's case by case. There's no. I'm not an expert on these things. No. And more importantly, if I was an expert, I'd be the first to tell you that we cannot know. Because it could be a combination of factors. What suddenly makes somebody wake up for a set in a second? The last chapter we learned, Herure Tshuva come from Makav of Atzilus. Ak has other effects. I would say it's a accumulation, accumulation of many things and, and other elements as well. So it's hard to really trace it. The point is, the real question that we really want to ask is what can we do to initiate it? What can you do to spark that in somebody? So know like this, you have Ak working with you, you have Atzil, Keser of Atzilus working with you. Well, later you're going to learn Keser of Bria and, and Keser of Yitzir and Asir also with you. And then you have their genes and you have history. So we have a lot of allies and assets. But then you've got to counter all the Halamas of a stadium in this world. So I think if you go armed with all these Makifim, it's 
pretty good. So that's what we have to send the message out to all shluchim in the world that they should know they have all the makifim working with them, that are creating all kinds of his awakenings. Okay, but generally speaking, rest assured, generally speaking, a makif will dissipate if there's no pnimi. That God cannot preserve. So he may give you an opportunity, another opportunity, even if you haven't completely prepared yourself. But the system works that you have to do something once it's there, or else it will dissipate. This is why we all have awakenings, and then inspirations, and then it dissipates. But don't we say, didn't we say at the very beginning of this chapter, Mashiachin HaRatzon Shlomayla, Ain says she knew him cloud. Yeah, that's when you work on it. It has the power, if you, but, but if you don't let that Ratzon reveal itself... Yeah, but he also said that on, uh, generally it doesn't work that way. What, so what happens on Rosh Hashanah? So what happens on Rosh Hashanah? That's all year round. You have the power to access something that's unwavering, but you've got to access it. It doesn't well, automatically... It doesn't change, it's just access. Right, exactly. It's like, it's like I said, yeah, it's there. Yeah, so Rosh Hashanah comes a day where you have... But in order to get it, it helps if you do that very day before. That's L. That's why we have the preparation L. Someone will say, let, let me put it to you this way. You're invited one time an opportunity in your life to present, to get a, uh, a major, major uh, funding, billions of dollars of funding for your company. Okay? Yes. Billions excite you? Yeah. What about trillions? Okay. So I knew what would excite you. Suddenly I never saw such a smile on your face. I'm only saying the word billions. It's not like I have it. Uh, we have here more than billions of dollars, by the way. There's no question about this here, because this yeah, in, I'm not billions is not even. To buy a nice car. I understand. It's the Mashiach campaign. Okay, good. I just want to. We just need you to articulate that. Yeah, billions, sure. Okay. okay, no, but let me tell you. So you have an opportunity to have an appointment with a venture capitalist that can give you billions. Okay, good. Now you ask a question. I got I got busy and I didn't prepare myself. The day comes. What do I do? I'm not going to cancel the appointment. It's once in a lifetime. So you go. Or you have 30 days, like a chedeshel, to prepare. So obviously, you can go in and just wing it and hope for the best and reach him. But if you t- spend 30 days with your kreches pnimim, working on it and preparing and, and this, most likely that your homework is going to help the presentation. So that's the point you're asking me. Of course, without any preparation, we have inside of us the ability to, to access the highest levels. Yeah. Yom Kippur, as it says, is the day itself. Echid is revealed. But we live in a world of structure. And if you want it to be, number one, done properly, you need to prepare. And number two, like he said, the makif, in turn, also informs the kaychus pinim. And that's what he just said here on top. That the transcendence affects the Rashaykhim shivteichim, just like Rashaykhim shivteichim affects the Nitzavim hayayim. So, we've got plenty of resources in us. And the bottom line is, there's no magic tricks. There's no magic tricks. You have opportunities. The Friedrich Rebbe, the Rebbe, the only place he ever had a so-called debate with the Friedrich Rebbe was about the miracle story. Where he wrote to the Friedrich Rebbe, why don't we have miracles? And the Derech of Chabad is that miracles were always looked at, frowned upon. Right. And there's a whole letter printed in Hatomim, printed in letters, etc. But then the Rebbe continued and said to the Friedrich Rebbe, but still, we live in a generation we suffer so much. We know, we see an Anes has the power to, for a moment at least, to lift somebody up. Lifts your spirit, so why not just give that person that? And then they'll do the Aveda. And the Friedrich Rebbe was insistent. Until, until it's like I, I can't say it, it was an argument. The Rebbe was, the man, was, was trying to get something from the Friedrich Rebbe. You know, from a Rebbe, you want. He was using the opportunity. In Tavshin Tezvav, the Rebbe brings this. There's the letters recently that were revealed, the Rishimus about it. Tavshin Tezvav is when the Rebbe, Pasha Bashal, and then Abishalach, when was it? The Rebbe told people to raise their hand. The Rebbe wanted to demonstrate a miracle. But the Rebbe himself, to be honest, was not everyday miracles. And if you asked him, he would say, you have to work on it. And it was all beloved. But there was opportunities. There's always an Ace Rotson. There's Ace Rotson. But Ace Rotson does not become the, the, the it's an exception. You know, the rule, the exception is not the, is the, not the norm. So you have times. That's why you have. You have the, the, the things that elevate and, and reach us. You know, they say the Rebbe, right, the, the last months before the Shriyuk Rebbe's Stalkus, the Rebbe told the Chassidim, Zalman Gerari was one of them to go into the Friedrich Rebbe and say, you know, it was, it was 1950 and the Jews were coming out of Russia, etc. and there was no Parnosa, it was difficult, no language. So he's going to the Rebbe and demand from the Rebbe 
Parnassah. You must give open up the cha- the, 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 the channels of Parnassah for the Elam. And he said, I could just demand? He says, yeah, Rebbe, you have to demand. And he impressed them. That, but by the time he came around, it was huge fat already. It didn't happen. So the same group went to the Rebbe the next year. And they said, we were told by good advisors that you come to the Rebbe, you demand. The good advice was the Rebbe. <laughs> the Rebbe. <laughs> now they came to the Rebbe. And they're demanding so the Rebbe said, "It's to cook with under the egg." Now, now we look with different eyes. They were using the Rebbe, you know, like the Freim Medayt, the Shleim Medayt, you pass. The Rebbe says, "Now we look with different eyes." You know, later, he did say to Yosef Gutnik, I think it was that there, now is the time that there should be veering in Kabbalah. Hundred percent. Yeah, but that's that's a question. Like Zalman Gerardi said, also at the same time, he says he gave him the bracha to be wealthy, not me. So. <laughs> so remember, he has everything. Last year, the Rebbe actually said, "Now is the time to start." Remember, not once, 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 once. Time what? is to reveal the miracle. Hold on, hold on. That doesn't. Miracle, what, what are you saying exactly? That the Rebbe is suddenly changing the whole. No, I don't say that at all. I told you. By me, there's no contradictions in the Rebbe. The Rebbe didn't contradict himself. First of all. He, he, it doesn't work that way. It's, it's, it's wishful thinking, in my opinion, to start feeling that way. It doesn't work that way. Look, we're 20 years since Chavz. I know that we're the miracles. That's a big problem. If you're looking for big miracles. Question. Okay. Question. So maybe you have to understand, the Rebbe said something. I told you. Miracles? Yeah, big question. That we're not, that we're not killing each other physically. Don't you remember that? 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 People yeah. are saying that the existence of Chabad worldwide and the growth of it is, is, is the biggest miracle they ever witnessed. Oh. No. Well, like it's like Shmuel Gerardi said, the miracle is I remain the Chassid. That's the biggest miracle. Yeah. I, look, look. Let's not ever get around this. There's no way to change. The way God wants Eris Makifim and He wants Eris Pnimim. And that will never change. No Novi, no Tzaddik, not Mashiach himself can change that. That has to work that way. Because there's no point in existence if it's not internalized. God could have created him, could have created the whole thing. Call Yachel. We've been sitting here and struggling with Ayan Beis. How long did the Rebbe Shab take to write this? Was it done with a miracle? At the same time, you could say it's a miracle, but Teva. Of course it's a miracle that he could write such a thing. But he wrote it with his hand, with a pen. There is that element. It's, 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 well, you can't, it's God's cardinal rule. He wants Tachtainim. Obviously, the whole thing is a miracle if you're really wise. But it looks like it's manifest in... In in, uh, in existence, if you really see it, everything is a miracle. Every time we breathe is a miracle. It's, it's, that's the truth. So let's continue. The chenu lamal the berosh hashana. The same thing is above the berosh hashana. Shenim shel bchalatzmus. I'm sorry. Shenim shel bchinasatzmus. Say in sof that in rosh hashana, this is below. That atem netzav mayim through the aveda that prepares for it, and then the makif informs the imminent. The transcendent informs the imminent. Same thing above. On Rosh Hashanah, we have the transmission of the essence of the divine light. Hari Ozu, Gamkin Amshach, Klolis, Alkol Haved, Vachot, the Chol Hashanah. Because then we also have the transmission, general transmission of for all the Aved, it gives power for all the Aved all year round. Like we say, Tiku Bachet de Shefer, you shall blow Shefer in this month. Because this is the rule, the mitzvah, the Chaik. For Israel, Mishpat Lelekei Yankif. Rule for Israel, and Mishpat, the, the din for the God of Yaakov. What is this referring to? This is referring to the godliness within the souls. That means, Mishpat Lelekei Yankif. Shegam Azehu Adin Va Mishpat Rosh Hashanah. So also on Rosh Hashanah, we don't just have the din of where we stand. It's also of how much godliness will be revealed in our soul. That's interesting. Rosh Hashanah we determined how much godliness. There's a din of mishpat. That's mishpat lelikei Yankif. A mishpat of how much lelikei will come into Yankif. Ubaham shachis Rosh Hashanah nimshach al kolos ha'aved the chol Hashanah and the ham shachis in the transmissions and drawing and what's drawn the energy drawn Rosh Hashanah is extends and is transmitted to the entire to the, to the general work and, of, and, and worship throughout the year. And this is, means you stand upright firmly today in the revelation of the essence of your soul. Through this you are, you endure and you stand strong 
also with an additional amount of energies, abundance energies, by the increasing energy. By day zehu amshachal kol hashana. Through this comes the transmission for all year round. About ba'avedit bekeches apnimim. In the work with your internal faculties, v'zeinyan reshechem shivtechem v'ziknechem. This is the inyan of reshechem, the levels. The keches primim is the levels, the heads of the tribes, the knechem, the elders, and so on. Kitzur, upoulas b'chinas kesed atzilus shodak b'nisham yisrael. The effect and impact of the crown of atzilus, the makiv of atzilus, is only in, in the souls of Israel. V'hi ya'avam esuteres v'rusu deliba. This is the hidden love. And the and the, the desire of the heart. Who inyan edusli Yisrael? That's the inyan of edusli Yisrael, the witness, the testimony for Israel. Kisharshum b'chinas shetstima the klostima, because their root is in the hidden of all hidden. So they bear witness and reveal through their rotsin, through their hidden love, misuteres, also misuteres. They reveal the makif of above that's hidden beyond all hidden. For who inyan akodesh baruch hu neisim ben neshama. And that's the meaning, that, that's the thing that God gives the soul. This is the godliness within the soul that is beyond the structure. That comes from Makif of Atzilus. This is Israel, is Sarkel, the, the ruler of God. Godly ruler. The power, the dominance, the ruling, the governing, that there should be the nullification, elimination of the alien desires. So that's a power. It's a power in the soul. It comes from the Makiv Kesar Vatsilus. And there should be the revelation of the inner faculties. And it also gives energy and passion and life, vitality to the imminent, to the internal. And also from this come the, the spontaneous thoughts of tshuva. And also that which upon ten people the Shekhin arrests. Shekhin Tashari. If you look at the end of Perik Yud Aleph and Tanya, she says, even by Rosh Hashanah, where you say Ra, it's completely dominated, there's still some Makif that remains. I think that's the last line in Perik Yud Aleph. Am I correct? Or is it about the Tzadik Rosh Hashanah? That's why he has Malayim uh, Kharatas. But something that Shekhinah Shari says there, the makiv remains. There's a makiv that remains and that impacts us. So we conclude Discourse 17, now the end of chapter 567, pages 126 and 127.